Okay everyone, this is Guy with some more beard, and we are going to play Portal again. Uh, why again? Because we have the full version now. It is now free on Steam to celebrate Steam coming to Mac. However, I think it's only temporarily free, so you jump on it and get on. Uh, you need to get to it and download it and get it all set up. Portal is not too big of a file. Steam, however, is somewhere around 25 gigs. It's kind of a waste of space, but free demos that aren't too bad, you can get into betas, and some free games to America's Army, which isn't too bad. I'll probably be making some videos of that eventually. But until then, we're going to be doing a new game. So let's delete all these save games. Delete. Ah, whatever. They can stay. I have got one achievement. I have one achievement. That's all. And it's right there. Lab right. And I'll tell you when you get that. I got to just make, playing around and making sure you, this is the full version. So, until then, the first 10 levels of this are going to be done silently. No commentary, just because we've done it in the portal demo, and there's no point in doing doing commentary over it again, just try to get this all done in one video, which is going to be difficult. It may end up being two videos of no commentary, and then we'll just start right off with a new video with me com being in commentary. So until then, enjoy Portal Levels 1 through 10. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth.
Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. What safety is one of unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject on cost here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck!
Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience.